guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. We're at CES 2013, and we already showed you the Huawei Ascend D2. A quick hands-on, and now we've got a, some more time to, to, to sit down or stand up and look a little bit more closely at the D2 and give you uh, some more impressions, first impressions, of the new high-end flagship from Huawei. Let's take a look. So Huawei is trying to kind of rebrand themselves as a more higher-end manufacturer to be able to compete with HTC and Samsung and so forth. In the past, they've really done mid-range and low-end phones, uh, especially for the Asian market. So the Huawei Ascend D2 has a 1080p screen joining the ranks of all of these phones that are doing a 1920 by 1080, which makes for a PPI of about 440. This screen looks pretty darn sharp. We've got the Emotion UI with some new touches, as we've seen with the 6.1 inch Mate. We've got the disappearing home buttons, which which is so cool, and it makes so much sense. So, so you go into any application, and you get the full screen, and if you want the buttons back, you go pop, and there they are. Really cool feature that actually I wish I, we would see in other devices. We've got a quad-core CPU with two gigabytes of RAM, but this is very laggy, uh, and, and, and which leads me to my next point, that this device tries to be high-end, but really isn't, because it's pretty slow. And that was pretty fast, but let's flip around. We can see some dropped frames there when you're clicking around. It's going to a game. It's just, a, there, there, there's lag at really every turn. And it's possible that this is early prototype hardware, but it feels slow. Looking around the device, we've got a quite slender phone here uh, with, with sort of a metal accent around the side, although it, it feels like plastic. And then when I saw this from across the room, I thought to myself, hmm, that kind of looks familiar. Trying to do a little little play on the Apple thing here, uh, but it, it, it looks cheaper. It doesn't it doesn't look as high quality as uh, an Apple device. Looks like we have two microphones here for noise cancellation. Turning over to the back, we've got the eight megapixel camera uh, with a little LED flash there and a highly reflective fingerprint prone backing. Uh, so Huawei really trying here, but falling short in a few departments. We're going to have to get this in the labs and test it more fully, but so far we're a little bit mad on this.